Welcome to CAD Chaos. I'm your host, Michael Smith, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the swept boss base feature in SolidWorks. So let's hop to it. We're going to start off with a sketch. In this case, I'm going to put the sketch on the top plane. Now, very simple. I just need a line, and this is going to be a direction that my profile sketch, which I will create after this, is going to follow. So let's just make this little sketch real quick, and I already have an idea of what I want to make for another episode that I'll be filming here. Well, actually in the same hour, hopefully. So I'm just gonna create this. I'm gonna make it 12 inches. Bring this over again. I'm gonna make this dimension here. I want this to be six inches and I wanna have a three inch jog. So there we go. Now you can do this sketch in 3D or you can do this on a 2D plane like I'm doing right now. One benefit to use this if you're uh, a little bit more of an advanced user is if you're going to do something like a tubing path where you need to take your profile of the tubing or maybe it's ducting or something like that and you've sketched out a 3D sketch within your building. You can then create a new part, bring that into the assembly, edit that part, and then copy the sketch over from your, the assembly. So if things change, your sketch is going to update and your profile will then appear in the assembly that's something more advanced another video for another time but if you're you might it's something to keep in the back of your mind it is possible cool all right so I've created my sketch and there you have it it's a little bit of a jog a little weird and it's not anything too particular really it's kind of weird looking so I'm gonna exit the sketch and now I want to create another sketch on the front of that so for this, I end up usually always creating my own plane. I feel that's the best practice in the case that you have to come back and alter your sketch. So in this case, I'm going to go in to insert. I'm going to come down to reference geometry and click plane. Now from here, I'm going to end up using two things. A, the sketch, and then B, I'm going to use a point, the end of the line. And that's going to create a sketch uh, perpendicular to the end of the line, consecant with the end. So now that I've created that plane, I want to create a sketch on that plane. And again, I already have it planned out in my brain what I'm going to be doing here. So I'm just going to end up using a square. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make a little V, a little V groove, just like so. I want this to be one inch. Use construction line here for vertical and make a couple of angles to it. All right, so I've created my profile sketch here. Beautiful, isn't it? And so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to sweep it along the sketch I've just created. So I'm going to come over here to features, swept boss base. Now I already had profile sketch two here selected, so it automatically picked that up. And now it's going to want to know the path. So I make sure I click that box there and now I'm going to pull out this little flyout tab over here because sometimes just clicking on it in the field is very hard to do. I always like to use that pull out whenever I can because I feel it's a more organized way to work. And now I'm going to use sketch one which was my, again, it is my path sketch that I created. So there you have it. I've now created a boss that follows the path sketch I've created. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And I'll see you next time.